Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, if I was, I, I, I think you should probably go to the doctor with that. Yeah. Don't, no. Don't leave it. Don't leave it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I had an okay day actually. Thanks. Yeah. I was. I. I. Uh, I actually visited a local school. Um. The. the yeah. The, the, one of the schools near me. They've been having a, a kind of series where they invite uh, inspirational people from the, the local community in, and uh, obviously they they'd seen the the fragrance review channel, and they they asked me if I'd come in and, and do a talk for the kids. So I did, and. Uh, it was actually pretty. It was pretty uplifting. I feel really good about it. I think they they really enjoyed it, and uh, you know they they were really uh, excitable and very, very bit cheeky, very giggly. And I just remember they they all came up to me at the end, and they all uh, uh, wanted to speak to me, and they, they just kept patting me on the back. I remember it was, it was it obviously meant so much to them that I'd, I'd come in to do it, and they they were all laughing, giggling, and, and yeah, really and almost every one of them made a point of coming up and, and patting me on the back. So it was really good. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, I'd better get going because I've got to do this video now. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll speak to you tomorrow. All right. Uh, okay, see you later, mate. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, so the bottle for Dunhill Icon is one of the best designers out there. Well, but one of the best presentations for any fragrance I've seen. Uh, really nice, attractive metallic bottle there. And uh, you can see the juice level, which is a disadvantage in, in some fragrances where the, it's not a clear bottle, but they've, they've uh, kindly included glass at the bottom, so you can tell how much you've got left. It's always handy. Nice logo there. And it weighs an absolute ton, really nice. It's only a 50ml one here, the 100ml one looks exactly the same, but it's about twice as tall. But small can be beautiful too, as I often used to remind my uh, ex-wife. Uh, so a really good looking uh, fragrance bottle, and when you take the lid off, things do not go downhill in any way. Still looks really nice. And you've got some writing there about Dunhill, uh, something about the company name there, Alfred Dunhill, London, and uh, since 1893, so they've been going a long while. And the sprayer is pretty good, let's see if we can just check that out, here we go. So let's make sure I don't miss, there we go, good spray. And a lovely smell. On to the review proper, here we go. Hello everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about Dunhill Icon. Okay, so here it is. As uh, we've shown a moment ago, the packaging is lovely, looks really good. So uh, let's find out some more about this fragrance. Dunhill Icon was released in 2015 and the nose behind this one is Carlos Benayem. He is a very famous perfumier who was responsible for uh, many, many fragrances, but one of them that made me uh, interested in, in his work was the, the fact that he produced, or he, he was the perfumier behind, a Polo Green by Ralph Lauren, the original Polo uh, from that company, which is a really strong, interesting, distinctive scent, um, an absolute nuclear sillage monster, even to this day. I've, I don't own it, but I've sprayed it on paper and left it in my room a few times, and it, it, it kind of fills the room. So that's a really interesting scent that people might want to check out. And uh, the fact that he made that it makes me think that uh, this was likely to be a good one. And indeed, I was not disappointed. So moving swiftly on, the House of Dunhill. I personally don't know an awful lot about Dunhill fragrances. I see a few of them on, on the shelves, but there's nothing that makes me uh, particularly want to jump in there and, and get one of those. Uh, but... Scents from the past from Dunhill, well one of the most enduring ones that's uh, still out there is Dunhill Edition. 
from 1984. Um, that is a quite a well-regarded scent. It's been reformulated, but even in the reformulated version, I think it's widely regarded as being quite a good one. Uh, and it has a kind of uh, nutmeg note in there. I think it's a little bit reminiscent of Cacherel Pour Homme, having sniffed them both a little bit. Uh, I do own Cacherel Pour Homme. And that was uh, a 1981 release, uh, Dunhill edition being 84, and that's quite highly regarded. So if you like this or you're interested in this house, you might want to check out Dunhill edition. Uh, other than that, more recently we had one called Dunhill Custom that came out and uh, that was not very well received and neither have a lot of their scents been for men uh, that they've released since, the, well, in the, in the 21st century, quite frankly. So this one, Dunhill Icon, seems to be widely regarded as a return to form by the House of Dunhill. Uh, and perhaps it even exceeds anything they've done in the past. So uh, pe people are really saying this is good. It hasn't got masses of hype uh, because not many, many people have reviewed it, but those who have are saying good things. So let's find out if they are right. The notes on this one. Okay, in the top then, we've got Neroli, we've got Bergamot, we've got Black Pepper, and we have Petit Grain. In the mid, we have Lavender, Cardamom, Sage, we have Juniper Berry, and that are you, those are your mid notes. In the base, it's iris, leather, vetiver, oak moss, and oud. People are saying they don't get much oud in this one, but it's listed in the notes, so that, that's a, a you know, fashionable note these days. How does it actually smell then? Well, I've got a little bit that I've sprayed already, and I'm going to give myself a little fresh spray here. Here we go. Okay. Bright, citrusy opening, but immediately... I get some black pepper in there. I get the pepperiness in this one. So a really nice opening. It's quite invigorating and exhilarating. It's even got a little bit of maybe some kind of pineapple-y feel to me. And it's a bright citrus opening, but it's 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 not just one of these lemony uh, eau de cologne type openings. That the, the pepper thing in there is noticeable, and I get the juniper straight away in this one on on the on the opening, even though it's listed as a mid note. As it dries down we get a very complex scent that I feel evolves quite interestingly. Um, you definitely get some woodiness and uh, you get a little bit of sweetness coming through as it dries down. So it stays as a fresh scent, but there's something kind of sweet going on there. Uh, maybe from, some, I don't know, the oak, the, the iris maybe, the lavender, maybe even the juniper berries. I'm not sure what's quite giving it that very pleasant kind of woody sweetness that somehow manages to still have that element of citrusiness that carries it through. It's a manly smell. I think it's a kind of modern smell, but it's it's not sort of a generic smell. It's not old fashioned, it's modern, but it's modern in a way that an, a, a man who is not desperately trying to follow trends or, or have the latest things might feel comfortable with. I think it's a really interesting scent, woody, quite masculine, quite clearly masculine, but a little bit soft as well at the same time. So I've been really impressed on my wearings of this one and uh, I'm, I'm keen to explore it more before I, I perhaps come up with my ultimate conclusion on it. But so far I'm loving this scent. It really is a good one. Okay, so welcome to Life Hacks, a new bonus feature in the show where I'm going to give you some handy hints, not necessarily connected to fragrances, which could help you uh, in, in everyday life and in situations that you may encounter. Okay, so uh, my life hack or handy hint for today is going to be for anyone from outside of the USA. It's a little warning. If you are traveling to the United States of America and uh, you, you, you'll naturally be getting some American currency, be very careful because the notes are all pretty much the same size and they all look very similar. So it can be very easy to get them muddled up. In fact, it's very easy to hand over the wrong denomination. A $10 bill, for example, looks to someone who's not paying attention very closely, very, very similar to a $100 bill. So it's very easy for visitors from outside of America to hand over the wrong bill to someone, as the luckiest lap dancer in Las Vegas found out on my recent trip there. Now, let's move on. Who, where and when could you wear this one? Well, if, if, uh, if I have some sound effects later, I should put a fanfare in this one. I probably won't, but just imagine one here. The reason, I think this is the first one I've talked about and reviewed that truly could be a signature scent for somebody. It really could. 
Why? Because it's versatile. It's likeable. It's manly. It works in the daytime. It works in the nighttime. It would work at work. No problem. Don't go too heavy on the trigger. Absolutely great work sent. Really nice. Formal occasions. Yes. Something like a wedding. Yeah, you could wear this to a wedding, no problem. Dates. Yeah, I think it could be sexy. It's masculine and uh, it's a very pleasant, different smell. No one else, you're not going to smell like anyone's ex when you turn up in this, unless I'm their ex. Um, different. It's a little bit different. That makes it a good signature scent. It's not the same thing everyone's going to be wearing. It's not Blue de Chanel or Dior Sauvage. Other people are not going to recognize this smell, but they're going to recognize a smell that they like. And that, that is what you want in your signature scent. So very, very versatile, very good scent from that point of view. If you want to buy someone a gift or something, they're not massively into fragrances, you just want to buy them one fragrance. What a great gift this would make with the fantastic packaging, with the wonderful smell, and with its unique take on the citrus fresh woody genre. Projection is okay. I don't think it's a beast mode projector, but uh, the, the projection is okay. And longevity is decent, but not amazing. It's an eau de parfum. To me, it performs more like a very respectable eau de toilette, and that's fine, but it may be slightly disappointing that it doesn't last massively. It's, it's not really, really strong. It's more like an eau de toilette, I think. Opinions of other people. I've tried to get some of those on this one. Uh, my sister has smelled it. She really liked it. She said it smelled really good and it would be good on a man coming out of the gym or something for a fresh, clean kind of vibe. So you can see that's another scenario it's good for. Um, the, I've been working in a local supermarket recently. I'm just kind of in between careers at the moment. So I've been doing a little few shifts down at the, on the checkout at the supermarket just to, uh, just to keep things ticking over. And there's a very nice lady who works on the till next to me, Janice. Uh, who's always very helpful, always there if I run out of change or, or run out of carrier bags or something. Now, she gave me her opinion. She was a little bit reluctant to appear on camera. She's a bit bashful, but she did let me take a quick snapshot of her walking home after she changed out of her work things. And she sniffed this one, and she really liked it. I asked her to give it a rating for sexiness. Rating for sexiness out of 10. And at first she said 10, but then I reminded her I was talking about the fragrance, not me. And she said for this one, 8.5, 8.5 out of 10. Then I said just for the scent itself as how much how much you like it as a smell. Again, she said 8.5. So it's a pretty good score. Uh, and it's, yeah, so, so far, feedback from other people limited, though it is. I already asked two people. They were both women and they both liked it. So this is a good sign. Overall, then, this one for me, I think, feel like I'm still getting to know it. But it smells really good. It's unique. It's a little bit like a kind of cross between Terre d'Hermes and uh, maybe uh, Ginepro de Sardinia by um, Aqua di Parma, another one with a, a juniper note that I just sprayed a little bit of on here before I did the interview. Yeah, it's the, 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 the review, rather. And we get that juniper freshness from this one. And if you think of the kind of Terre d'Hermes earthy, woody kind of feel, mix them together. I think that's what we get with Dunhill Icon. So a really good scent, worth checking out for every man, for every occasion, a scent that absolutely could become iconic. My remark would be 8.5 out of 10 for this one. I might upgrade that to a 9 if it really performs spectacular and gives me some happy results in my life. Or I might downgrade it to no less than an 8 if I get bored of it, but I don't think I will. Great scent. Check it out. Thank you for joining me and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.